I feel like I've annoyed people right from the get-go. Oh my gosh, this is like a test of how much of my Sims series I can remember. He got his best friend's girlfriend pregnant. So, I mean, that puts him immediately there. Hey, my little peacheroonies, and oh, welcome back to a new video. Before you ask, yes, I know my eye makeup is kind of weird. Before I start filming this video, I wanted to try and do, you know, the eyes that I always start putting on my Sims at the moment. I thought, oh, they look, they look kind of easy to do. And like, I don't have very big eyelids. Whenever I try and do flicks, a lot of the time, actually makes my eyes look smaller. So I'm like, oh, I'll give these a go. However, I don't feel like they look the same on me as they do on my sim. I tried. Also, do you guys ever put eyeliner here, like on the inside of your eyes? I feel like mine goes straight away because I like rub the inside of my eyes or I get like sleep out or there's tears that I don't know. It just, I don't feel like it's worked. Okay. So don't laugh at me, but I am going to have these eyes for this video. If you do think it looks good, <laughs> one, you're probably wrong, but two, at least tell me so I feel less bad about myself. I've got small eyelids. Okay. I've got small, I've got like almost Almost hooded eyes, but I tried. Okay, I tried. So today we are going to be using a website called Tear Maker. When I did my TikTok reacting to the hashtag Clash of On on TikTok, some of you guys had gone ahead and placed Sims in some of these tier lists. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and try and find them. And today we're going to be doing the ultimate ranking of Clash of On Sims. I mean, everybody is entitled to their own opinions on this, and Sims can be whatever ranking you want them to be. But this is my rankings. So a Sim God, probably sufficient. I'm just gonna put it out there, probably official. Okay, <laughs> you guys have made quite a lot of these Sims lists. We've got, I mean, these are the ones that came up. We've got one here, which goes from Icon to James's boobs, Brindleton Bay, Who, and Jennifer as the bottom ranking. I like the creative rankings, I'm not gonna lie. Here are the Sims that are on offer here. And then we've also got S to A, B, C, D, and F. A, B, C, D, and F, if you're wondering where this list comes from, this is tends to be how you rank kind of like fighters in fighting games. So I see a lot of smart list where it's like S tier is like the best character you can play as in terms of their movement or like their moveset and then it goes from A to D and then F class is just like don't even bother using them and then again we've got the exact same ranking here we've got different sims for these two but then with some of them if it isn't like sims that I've cc'd up I'm like I can't guarantee that I'm ranking the sim that I think I'm ranking so I was trying to make sure I had a list where I actually recognized all of the sims <laughs> this list I like because it goes from god tier great good average not so great bad horrible or just straight up, I don't know. I'm kind of putting out there already that I can tell that <laughs> this is going to be a controversial ranking video because everybody ranks things differently. Like I said, you can all have your own rankings. You can all have your own opinions on this. And then this one I had to include just because it goes from Peach Juice with being like, that's the S God tier. Cass Monday, I know you guys like that. Even Lexi Reckons, that's when they're wilding behind me, not ideal. You Egypt as to when you've done something particularly stupid. And then Ali putting his hand in poop as the F tier for that list, which I think kind of makes a lot of sense. I think I'm going to be using this list here because there's a lot of sims here and also I recognize them all. So that's handy. That's helpful. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big cheeky thing. A what? Please don't forget to Please don't forget to give it a big cheeky thumbs up. And also let me know how you would rank Sims in the comments below. Or if there's any you think I got particularly wrong, please go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments below. But please remember to be civil, to be nice. There's no definitive ranking as much as I said mine is the god tier ranking. No, everybody is entitled to their own. There's no right or wrong answer here. It's just opinion. It is just your own personal opinion. And you can't be right or wrong with that. So let us go ahead and rank my Sims. Not everyone is on on here. I wish there was a more full one, but this is the one we're going to be using today. And to kick off with an instantly controversial figure. And actually, you know what? I knew this video was probably going to contain tea. So I even made myself a little cup of tea. It is the tea pigs like metabolism trim tea. I don't know if it actually does that, but it tastes pretty good. Okay, so Makoa. Some of you guys would definitely put him here. Other of you guys would put him up here. I like that he's a bit of a mixed character. You know, him and uh, Sage got together through pretty controversial means, but then he also did a load of selfless kind of work in conservation to save an island. He reacted quite badly to Kai coming out, but then he also realized his mistake and made really big steps to try and make up for it. So... Uh, I think he falls somewhere between these two categories. I personally like him, so I'm gonna put him in good. I feel like I've annoyed people right from the get-go. And Wildin, guys, just because I mentioned it doesn't mean you've got to do it. I'm gonna see if I can let you see them. They're down here. Oh, obviously, as soon as I move, like, look. Can you hear them? How loud is Lexi? Wild in be happening. If you're gonna wild, at least wild on camera, okay? What? Look at that, look when she grabs it here. No. 
girls. Okay, girls, I'm trying to record a video, so wild outside away. I'm gonna go kick them out. Okay, I've kicked them out to go wild in the sunshine. Okay, next up, we've got Coda Bear. Hasn't really done anything bad in his life at all. He's had a bit of a rough life. He's been a bit tough. He went through a breakup. He went through bullying. He realized that he was asexual. I think he's a good sim. Ugh, I don't know what to put him in good or great. Is it kind of like which ones I like playing with or just what I think about them in general? I think he's a good egg. Good egg. But he's a great egg. There we go. I'm gonna put him in great. Okay, Akira, Akira, Akira. So let's start him off in average and decide how he moves up and down. So got Macy pregnant and then decided that he was really upset about that and did not want to keep the baby. Pachal. Broke up with Macy over it. Pachal. But then realized that he actually did want to be part of his daughter's life. Pachal. The two of them made it up and got back together again. Pachal. He also did move to Solani to be closer to Ari. But then I feel like of all our other Sims, he definitely falls in the not so great category. So I'm gonna move him back down again. I'm so Sorry. Okay, Taylor, president of the free world, amazing human being, amazing father. I'm gonna put him in great. He is technically god tier, but it's which ones like I get like the most excited about as well, I guess, and I just don't with him. But I appreciate that he's a god. He's an amazing sim. He is an amazing sim. Okay, Nathan, criminal, turned his life around for his wifey and his daughter. I really like Nathan. I think he's an interesting character. He is a criminal though. Was a criminal, but he also tried to. He was good at like sleuthing and investigating. He'd have been a good police officer if he wasn't a criminal. I like him a lot, so I'm gonna make him great. Selma, easiest one yet. Definitely god tier. Jamie Street. Jamie Street. He got his best friend's girlfriend pregnant. So, I mean, that puts him immediately there, <laughs> which is really bad. Uh, but then kind of started his life around later in life. Took his daughter in and tried to help her when she ran away from home. Saved her baby after it got kidnapped. Up. My series, when I talk about it like this, it literally sounds like Hollyoaks or like Neighbours or something. And ended up marrying Lilith, who's obviously a queen. Um, they had a son together. Honestly, for me, he's a god tier because I absolutely love him. I think he's a really fun character and I love his redesign a lot. But I appreciate that he's not particularly like a good... He's not a bad person, but he's not a good person. Oh, I love him though, so he's going in great for me. I'm sorry. Okay, Robin. Started out life good. You guys had a good thing going on, but then... Then you kind of flirted. You and Chase kind of flirted and broke Nathan's heart. So you're going in the bad category, I'm afraid. Kind of feel like maybe you should be there, but you turned it around. You didn't have a retribution kind of arc, did you? So Macy, especially with your redesign, you are kind of gods here, let's face it. Kenai, you are somewhere in between here. We've not really seen enough of you yet. However, you did decide to stay at the farm to help out your mom. And that makes you a god tier sim. You're a good egg. Okay. Asha, astronaut, beautiful, amazing person, but did have a little bit of a work affair. You guys made up and like got you got over it, but it was still kind of a bad thing to do. So I'm gonna put you in the good category. I feel like why is Nathan a criminal in gray and Asha's in good? No, you know what? I'm gonna put him in gray, okay? The problem is I love my Sims too much. It's gonna be like so top weighted. Okay, Zoe, you've not seen a great deal of her yet. This may change further down the line. For now, she's going in good, but I, I think eventually she'll end end up somewhere in between these two, but it hasn't happened yet. So I have to put her on based on what she's done so far, which is she's helped out Alice. Actually, she's helped out Alice and she's helped out Alonzo. So I'm going to put her in the great category. Fran, 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 such an absolute baby. I love Fran. This is basically turning into which of my Sims do I fancy the most? If I fancy you, you get to go in God tier, which means you should go in as well. But still, that's not the way I'm meant to do it. So Fran was in a band, had really sad things going on in his life, but took in need to bear as well. When she wanted to like come and live with Raven, he took her in. Which I think is a really nice thing to do and kind of was like almost like a second dad in a way to her. I'm gonna put him in the great category, okay? I think he's great. Alonzo, we've not really seen them do a huge amount yet in terms of like morally. Like they've not become president or like done some amazing selfless act. However, they are definitely a good egg. They're a nice person and they're really talented at figure skating. So I'm gonna put them in great. Anthony, policeman. Oh my gosh, guys, they're all gonna be great. <laughs> he was a good policeman, although he did have that phase where he liked going out and partying with other women. 
women's. Not cheating, but definitely doing a bit of partying with other women's, but not. Oh, I don't know. I love Valentina. He's a good. He's a good guy. He's getting great. Noel, Noel, Noel. Wait, no. Charlie Rose, Charlie Rose, Charlie Rose, Charlie Rose. The thing is, if I've put Jamie Street and Good, they both messed up in the same way. Look, they literally even go together quite well. I actually think these two probably would have made a pretty good couple, but obviously it was not to be. I mean, she was definitely a good person. She just had a little bit of a turbulent, like, young adult sort of teenhood, I guess. Uh, oh man, I don't know. I really don't know. What does she end up becoming? What was Charlie Rose? Why can't I remember? <gasps> she also lied. She did lie to Asher about being the father of Noel, but obviously he wasn't. Okay, that's kind of bad. But they did make it up. And they had more kids. They had some babies that I deleted. Oh, she was a makeup artist and re restaurant owner. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to give her. People did definitely love her. Okay, she had a turbulent life, but she was pretty amazing. So I'm gonna put her in great. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Hunter was so uncomfortable with Rue's transition that he kind of disappeared and ran away from home. And they were close as kids as well. But then as an adult kind of made things up. But I don't know, I feel like that's a pretty crazy thing to do. So I'm gonna put him as average. His kids, we've not really got to know well enough like to really know what kind of people they were. I don't know. I don't know with them. Actually, there. I don't know. That's an easier thing to do. Val. Did he have a little bit of an awkward thing with Willow where he knew that she liked him, but he was kind of a bit weird about it with her? There was definitely that at the beginning because he like chased, didn't he? He dated Rue for a while, but they never really committed. Oh my gosh, this is like a test of how much of my Sim series I can remember. I don't think he's a bad person. I think he's a good person and they've obviously raised Zoe really well together as well. I feel like he falls somewhere in between these two. I like him. He's a good sim, but I don't know if he quite is on the same level as these other ones. I do like him, but like he's not Charlie Rose, you know? I need to put more sims in good. I'm kind of realizing this. I'm putting way too many sims in the top ones. I'm trying to be fair. Then we've got Kane. Kane, Kane, Kane. He's also a child, so we've not really had enough time to see him do a lot of stuff yet. I know that I want to take him down the criminal route, so for now, I'm just going to keep him here as well. Faithykins. I mean, she was a surgeon and ended up being chief of staff in medicine. She was pretty amazing. For me, she's a god tier sim. I really like her. We've got Sageykins as well. I think a Sage for me is somewhere in between these two. I'm gonna put her in the same category as Makoa, I think. Alice, she's had a tough life so far, but she's also done a lot of good stuff for other people. Like she wanted to help these guys out with their home. She noticed when Alonzo was going through stuff as well. So I'm gonna put her in great. Abby, we didn't see a great deal of, but she's another a good sim. She's good. She's not done enough to earn these categories, but she's a good sim. This is the easiest one yet. I don't even need to mention it. Same with this boy. I don't know. I feel like people give Sammy a hard time. I feel like he's misguided, but good. Like, he tries to do the right thing, even though it doesn't always end up being the right thing. He definitely has a good heart. For me, he's god tier. Then we've got Kira. I'm gonna put her in great as well. Great has now obviously gone to two lines, because that's just, I can't make my mind up. Ari is also great. Summer is great as well. We've not known enough about these guys. Who's that? Is that Ali? Ali is obviously God. James, I'm gonna put James, James, James almost here. Oh, I need like an extra line. I need an extra line. It's like he only played the violin, but he had really big eyes, didn't he? For the eyes alone, he's going there. Cody is obviously a God tier. Nami is great. Nita is great. This is Hunter's wife. We don't know enough about her. Kari, I would put in great. Ruben, I'd say is great. Aria, I like a lot. I like that she was a little bit morally ambiguous, so she is great as well. Evie broke Abel's heart, so she's going in horrible. I'm sorry, but she just is. She broke my boy's heart. Julian, you belong in horrible as well. Noelle, 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 Noelle. She had the mean trait. She's definitely a little bit of a vague sim. She, oh, this is really hard. She did run away from home. She was part of the plastics. She had a teen pregnancy, and then her son did end up being a criminal, but she's not a bad person. And also, she helped scare off the gang to make sure that they stayed off Nathan's case by threatening them with her like PR contacts. So I'm gonna put her in good. Seth also, he's not done a great deal yet. I feel like he belongs in good too. Kylie's horrible, obviously. You are just, this was Lilith's best friend and actually had a baby with Lilith's boyfriend without telling. What They weren't together at the time, but she didn't tell Lilith about it and that makes you a bad friend. So I'm gonna put you in not so great. 
There we go. Caden, also amazing surgeon. He is great. Dia, 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 dia. You off camera tried to seduce James. So I'm sorry. You're going in the bad category. Phoenix is great. Luna is great as well. Connor. <laughs> Connor was actually, he did have nine girlfriends. I know we turned it around later in life, but he broke like, is it like 13 girls hearts? And he also had two babies with someone that he didn't really do a great deal to help out with. I like him, but I can accept that he's an average person, so I'm gonna put him in average. Violet and Indy, we didn't see them enough to know if they did a huge amount. So I'm gonna put them in good. Like, they were fine. They were good people. But were they outstanding? I don't know if they were. Kai is, though, because he's baby, so he's going up there. Basically, if you're baby, you get to go in God tier. You don't really need to, need to do much more than just a big baby. I'm sorry. Okay, this is me. I can't rank myself, so I'm just gonna put me in I don't know. Pam. See, I feel like Pam gets a lot of hate. Her and Seth had very different personalities, but could still be very sweet and do do amazing things for each other, but then they could also clash quite hard. But I don't feel like she's a bad person. She just had a very different way of looking at things, but I think they're both equally good people. So I'm gonna put her in good. Raven ended up saving the world, so she's a god tier sim. Erica, she was good. She didn't do anything outstanding, but she's still a good person. I don't know, but then maybe Summer belongs in good as well, because what did she do that was outstanding? And what did Ari do that was outstanding? And what did Alonso do that was, and what did Coda do that was outstanding? And what did, Okay, I feel like now if they didn't do anything outstanding, they don't get to be in this category, okay? Because <laughs> I've got too many people in the top categories. I'm too nice. Leader of the free world. Football player. Astronaut. Successful singer. What did you do that was outstanding? <laughs> oh, guys, I can't do this. It's too hard. It's too hard. I'm gonna put them back in. <laughs> There, I put them back in. I'm weak, okay? Seb, you were in the art, you were, you're definitely like, you didn't do quite as much as the other Stranger Things people, but you are still amazing. So I'm gonna put you right underneath them. There you go. Roxy, oh, she's tough. because She's definitely like here. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know which one to put her in. Oh, this is really hard. I feel like to be God tier, you actually do need to be God tier. So I'm gonna move some of these people back down. Oh, I'm trying to be really savage and I'm just, I'm just not really savage. But what did Salma do that was so God? tier but she just is god tier it's different it's different okay obviously lilith is god tier ethan for me is technically god tier because i think he's the sim that i fancy the most but i'm gonna put him in great because he didn't do anything particularly spectacular but he was a vampire that tried to resist drinking human blood because he hated being a vampire and that makes you a good person you know you are a horrible person because you had a lily bear and you let it slip through your fingers and that just makes you horrible is this Max and Elsa. Uh, who is this then? Is this Max? Is it Elsa or is it Sammy B as a baby? I can't tell. I'm gonna leave you for the end. Who is this? Why can I not recognize who this is? I've no idea who that is. I'm gonna put I don't know. Jake is just kind of average to me. Willow is great because she dragged herself out from literally having nothing to owning a farm and a bakery, which is impressive. Seiji is kind of a supernaturally long lived sim. However, he did lie to his daughter her whole life. So that makes him good, but not great. He's still a good person though. Micah, he ran away from home after being abused by his family for his sexuality and took his baby sister with him to make sure she never had to go through the same stuff, which to me makes him great. And then this is Emma. She looked after Abel like he was her own and also was the one that helped him a lot. So she is great. Yona helped out Willow on the farm. He is good. Chase, he's good as well. He's not I don't think he's done anything to particularly earn this category, but he is a good person. Jesse is just in that category just for obvious reasons. Max, you had a really checkered past. You were obviously a bad sim when you were younger. A criminal, you were cruel to Emma. You did turn it around, but I don't know if you turned it around enough to be a good sim. Like, I love Max, don't worry, but I feel like because of his checkered past, he deserves the average ranking. You are horrible because you abandoned Abel, you fool. Jay never, oh no, Jay did definitely definitely try and hit on, was it Sinclair? I think he did. You're not so great, but you were, you did step up and want to be a good father to Lilith if that opportunity ever came around and you guys became a family. So I think that 
means he's not necessarily bad or horrible. Ryder, you were pretty great as well, but were you good or great? Did you do anything particularly spectacular with your life? I don't know if you did. Eve is horrible, but in the best possible way. Emily is good. She's obviously not a leader of the free world, but she was definitely a good sim. And Holly, you were also kind of checkered. Like, you were Abel's love, and you would have made him very happy, but you also, like, supernaturally raised your children <laughs> in order to teach them everything you could and then just kind of left them. So I'm gonna put you in average. And for this one, I'm gonna put in I don't know because I don't know who it's meant to be. I feel like Elsa, in which case she was just kind of average, but I'm gonna leave you in I don't know. There's a few sims that aren't on here, but I feel like we've definitely got the main ones on there. So let me know if you guys agree. My god tier is pretty small. Selma for obvious reasons, Abel for obvious reasons, Sammy just because I really love him and I feel like he does, he's always tried to do the right thing and he helped try and stop Eve obviously as well. Cody because he's the hero of Strangerville, he's the hero of the zombie outbreak and he is also had to try to stop Eve as well. Raven because she did stop Eve. Ali because he's Ali and he's always gonna be good to you for me. And Lilith because she saved her family from a fire, uh, became a fire, what the people that part fires? A firefighter and ultimately sacrificed herself for Phoenix which is pretty amazing. And I think we're all done. There's a few that literally like I feel like Phoenix could be in- I'm gonna put her there just because it actually makes it neater. She could be in either. But then for the same reasons, I feel like- where's Summer? Summer could probably be in the same one too. There. Like, I feel like it should be the least amount here and then here and then this should be the biggest one. But I just love my Sims too much. Like, honestly, you should be there as well. You raised someone else's kids for them. That's pretty amazing. You, I said we didn't have enough- you'd not done enough yet, so you had to be there. Okay, let me just do a little bit of rejigging. If you didn't do something particularly spectacular, you- you get demoted now, okay? You started an animal sanctuary actually you definitely belong here okay i've made it so there's more in good than great okay this is my ultimate tier list it kind of is a little bit of a mixture of sims that i just really love but in general it's meant to be how they acted in the series and whether they did something particularly amazing like be the only sibling to stay behind to help their mum out on the farm do a lot to help a friend go through something pretty intense and come out amazing at the other side exact same kind of situation for ruben started an animal sanctuary saved his sister when against every instinct to try and do the right thing. Raise somebody else's kids. I still don't quite feel like this is the right final list. I feel like I've been too kind to a lot of sims. I've like judged some sims a lot more harshly than others. So some of it is just a little bit of my personal preference as well. But in general, like everybody in this bunch here, they're all pretty amazing. And honestly, there's people here that I still really like. I can just appreciate that they're not good sims. So hopefully you guys can see my logic in the list. Let me know in the comments below who you would shuffle around and who you would change. But I hope you guys at least enjoy this. I'm gonna leave a link to this list in my description. So that you guys can do it as well. You can tweet me your results. I'll post them on Instagram. And yeah, here we go, guys. The Clash of On Sims tier list is complete. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. If you want me to do anything else like this, let me know in the comments below. If you want to try a crazy eyeliner that looks like you just sweated it off, feel free. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.